Welcome to my ASMR mukbang channel. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not doing that shit. Uh, but today, we're going to read another book. Another naughty kids book. Today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to put Gollum in the closet. <laughs> He's been begging for it. Uh, so, I invited another one of my friends. Her name is Peggy. She is from Wisconsin. Uh, and she's going to be reading today's book. Because um, I don't know how to read. So, without further ado, here's Peggy. Ah, okay. Oh, you know what's weird? We're wearing the same shirt and we got the same haircut. Huh. That's very bizarre. Should have thought that through better, you know. Anywho, I just got back from framing a man for murder, poorly. Uh, but don't worry, he'll be in jail for the rest of his life. He didn't do the crime, I just didn't like him very much, so he's gonna spend the rest of his life thinking about that. Oh, hey Mike, yeah, um, I brought a platter of those vomit-inducing gross ham roll-ups. Yeah, the things with the pickles and stuff. Yeah, I just figured if you needed to, you know, get some of your stomach contents out, you can have some of those, yeah. I made him for my friend Shailene, but you know, she's a little far away. I can't get him to her. Because one time she brought them to me, and Jesus Christ, I wanted to slit my own throat and drink my own blood, because that would have tasted better. Oh, Brenda's beaver needs a barber. Okay. Well, that does look like a pretty bushy beaver, you know? That's got a lot of fur coming out of him. Oof. So, Brenda has a beaver and she's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is it's quite a mess. Oh yeah, it's got all sorts of dingleberries covered in this beaver fur. Brenda's beaver's big. Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who's seen it says that Brenda's beaver's scary. I could relate. If I saw Brenda's beaver, I'd probably run for the hills like these fine folks are doing. Oh. <sighs> Brenda took her beaver for a swim down at the lake. Oh, I wouldn't realize that. By the looks that she received, she figured, oh, that was a mistake, you know? Oh, I got a little British there. Well, you know, uh, Brenda, if you get your beaver all wet, it's gonna create some weightage and you're gonna get sucked down under the water because of all the weight of your soaked up beaver. You know, if it wasn't so furry and bushy-tailed, you wouldn't have this problem. She stuffed that furry mound into a swimming suit. Oof, that beaver's gonna be is gonna be poofing out of that swimming suit. I think the swimming suit's wearing the beaver, if you know what I'm saying. Jesus Christ, your beaver even has a bushy tail. I think you should see a doctor about that. It stuck out all around. It was anything but cute. Does that beaver have a camel toe or a moose knuckle? I can't really tell. Look at that beaver's pink little smile. So nice and pink in that beaver. Oh, nice vibrant pink color, you know? Some who saw it laughed. Others were just stunned. Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. Well, you know, it's very good to get some vitamin D in me every once in a while, and Brenda's beaver looks like it's been eating some D for quite some time. You know, it's drinking some orange juice, so it's getting D that way, but it really needs some pretty hard D, okay, to uh, really fix the problem. A lot of hard D into the beaver, okay? I'm beginning to think this book isn't so friendly for children. Oh, great. Well, let's just keep reading. We've already started. Might as well finish Brenda's beaver off. Her friends could not believe her. They said, we need to talk, Brenda. They covered up her beaver, and they took her for a walk. Brenda, dear, listen here, okay? We want to help you out. Your beaver needs a makeover. It really needs it now. Oh, one of her friends looks like she just quit flight attendant school, you know? Why is the last one just naked? I don't know why you're just basically in your brassiere and your pantyhose posing. Well, one's a lesbian, clearly. And that blonde bitch. Oh, I don't like her. I think I can get a knife to plant on her at her house. I hope you don't seem pushy, said her biker friend named Kim. Your beaver is too bushy. We just think it needs a trim. That is one bushy beaver. I mean, that beaver is profoundly bushy, you know? Oh, look at that flight attendant bitch. They don't like you either. A plaintive bomb in her suitcase. But not a real one, just so she gets fired and arrested. <laughs> it's fun to do, you know? Savannah pulled her beaver back. Oh, for Christ's sake, Savannah. To show off what she'd done. Oh, Lord. Hers has a nice long landing patch. It looks like it'd be fun. Oh, this is not such an innocent story. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Well, you know, sometimes you need, you need a little landing patch to point the way of the beaver. Chrissy's beaver is quite rare. Bitch. 
It could be worth a million. Well, fuck Tracy, okay? I don't like you. You stupid blonde lady with your dumb black evil eyes. <laughs> What's so special about your gosh darn beaver? Hers is bare, okay? It has no hair. Her beaver is Brazilian. No lands and patch on that one. Catherine let her beaver loose. Mm. She said there's nothing to it. And then the cops came and they arrested her. Grab some clippers and a can of mousse. We'll show you how to do it. You, you know, having a loose beaver is, 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 you're just opening the floodgates for diseases to come back to you, you know? You really should close up your beaver every once in a while. All right, get it nice and clean, okay? Before you just let it run amok all over the city. You don't know what kind of guy or gal can pick up your beaver and stick its tongue all over your beaver, okay? Who be, who's, we have coronavirus to worry about. Kim produced some scissors. Those are some goddamn scissors, all right, Jesus. And Chrissy had some wax. You know what, Chrissy, with your goddamn wax, you know, why are you prepared with wax in your purse? You're at the beach, you're at the lake. Why do you have these goddamn Texas Chainsaw Massacre scissors and a bowl of wax in your purse? Who the fuck are these ladies? Oh, Christ, I'm so sorry, is that a bad language word? Oh, God, me and beavers have a history. I tried beaver once. I tried to have, you know, beaver. Um, one time I tried to eat a beaver, and, uh, well, it just did not taste great for me. No, it was, uh, it was rotten. It was rotten. Very fish flavor, um, you know, um, to be subtle about it, you know. Now, all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. Well, now, why are you sitting like that? God damn it, Brenda. You're just like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just come shave my beaver. Oh, yeah. As they came towards your beaver, they said, now, don't be scared. Well, how, you, how can you not be scared with those goddamn weed whackers? We're going to see what's underneath that frumpy pile of hair. Well, I don't know if you're going to like what you see underneath that frumpy pile of hair. You know, you might find some pimples, some permanent pimples, if you know what I mean, um, that just aren't going to go away. A lot of rash, rashes going up and down all over, you know, because of all the itching of the beaver, you know? Jesus. It ended in just minutes. They didn't leave her much. Oh boy. Look at all that beaver hair you have on the ground. When Brenda's friends were finished, she and her beaver blushed. Oh, her beaver turned a nice rosy red again. Oh my gosh. Look at that rosy beaver. Probably nice and smooth and a little moist probably, you know, from the wax. Nice, moist, and red, okay? You need to cut off that share hair too, by the way, Brenda. <laughs> the 80s called and they want their hair back, you know? No one does perms anymore, Brenda, okay? Now, Brenda is so proud. It seems like every time we see her, she's in the center of a crowd, just showing off her beaver. Huh. Oh, that guy with the camera, I wouldn't trust him to be taking photographs of your beaver, okay? And why are you standing like that, for God's sakes? You're just asking for a problem. Look at that little tiny main child boy. He's just gazing at your beaver. I don't know if you should be exposing him to beaver so soon in his life. By the way, take a shot every time you hear the word beaver in this story, okay? There's a lot of times, gripes. And that's the end of the story. If you don't take care of those things, you're gonna you're gonna create problems in your life, okay? And your husband probably isn't gonna like it if you ever get a husband. Well, this has been a blast. It's been a great time getting to know ya. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys all go fuck yourselves. Oh, crepes. Oh, jeez, crepes. I am so sorry. Oh, that's just the church and me talking. I apologize. Toodaloo. See you next time, folks. Can I linger on this place for any longer to make you uncomfortable? Okay, bye.